So you've been serving as a um, a local councillor for mm. seven years now, mm. and four of those years as deputy mayor. Mm. Uh, and you're probably the only Pacifica person mm. um, who's deputy mayor in the country. Mm. Um, what motivated you to serve yeah. as a city councillor? Mm. Yeah, well, I guess the, from those early beginnings, I got to see, you know, front row seats, seeing mum and dad do the same thing, serving the community. They were on PTAs at the time. I wanted um, some kind of way to give back to my community as well. And um, yeah, for some reason, uh, and I had a close friend of mine who said, you know, put your name in the hat. Why don't you? If not you, then who? You know, mm -hmm. that, that comes up. Um, but yeah, no, I. I think that motivates me. The other thing is, I know I'm not going to be in this position for long. No one in local government should be in positions for longer than they, you know, there is an expiry date. We should be here to do as much effect, as much change as we possibly can, and then move on. It's time mm. for us to move to the side and pull up the next generation who are going to affect change. So that's what motivates me, is to try and affect as much change as I possibly can in this term, and maybe one last term. Um, and then the other thing is that I know my children will ultimately inherit the, you know, the city that we live in. Mm. So it's trying to make sure that they'd be proud of the city that, yeah. that they're going to inherit. Mm. And not just my kids, you know, all the other kids as well, all, all the um, children of Porirua. Mm. 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 How has your Samoan heritage influenced your approach to, um, to, to public service? Mm. Yeah, it's almost part and parcel way eh, at being Samoan and, and um, there is that saying, you know, ole ala pule ole tau tua, you know, the, the pathway to service is through um, serving, oh, sorry, to leadership, leadership is through serving. serving. Yeah. So there is that and, and um, you know, without a doubt that is, again, we saw that growing up, we see that in, in our, um, I saw that in my church, I saw um yeah, a lot, you know, I, I mean, I go back to, I, I don't even realise we were poor growing up. You know, mum and dad, they were cleaners, they were they were labourers, they were all that stuff. And you see the struggle, you see, um, yeah, them, despite the little they had, still being able to serve their communities. Um, and I guess that sort of, yeah, that kind of, that drives you to to want to do the same. Um, and and the, but in saying that, um, my Samoan heritage has got uh, my upbringing has got something to do with why I do it. But having been married into um, a Caucasian um, family, and into, when I married Glenn and married into his family, I realised that they have similar traits to us. They have similar values. They have. Um, they sacrifice, they serve their, you know, I always thought that it was Pacifica who just served the elder, you know, their elders or that they sacrificed and stuff. But it is very much across the board that his family, I saw it with his mum, she was solo mum raising her children, she was um, helping to raise her elderly parents. Same thing happens in Pacific families. But what I do see from my Samoan heritage, from my Samoan family, is we take it to the next level. You know, we take it to the point where we are going to sacrifice um, to the detriment sometimes of our own families and that for our next generation. We need to think about shifting our thought. We need to be able to give, to be able to sacrifice, but not so that it's at the effects of the well-being of the ones that are closest to us. Mm. So I think, the, yeah, the, this next generation definitely needs to have a little thought around that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think that's um, something that a lot of us who uh, you know, living in New Zealand and having to straddle two worlds, mm. do you have to think about yeah. is how to draw the best from both worlds? Yes, and I suppose that comes um, closer to home when yeah. you're married, um, you know, to, into a Bailangi family yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, without mm. a doubt. Yeah. Okay, so I want to delve more into this, but we have to take a break now. Okay. So let's come cool. back after the break. Sweet. <laughs> 